everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Dathomir Galactic Championship Qualifier. Super excited to be here. And just like in all of our uh, events here during the Galactic Championship Series, we are doing community uh, community team ups and we're teaming up this time with duke of hobbies how you doing duke hey i'm good how's everyone doing i'm wonderful i'm having a great time let's go ahead and uh, start by breaking down these lists all right so we'll start with the scum player because they are first player for the uh, game here we got a boba gurry list boba with maul contraband and slave one pretty much a standard boba fett uh after the points change now and then we got Guri with Outmaneuver, Advanced Sensors, and the title, the Viagro title. So, um, you know, that's a pretty solid standard Guri. But the fact that uh, it, she's moving first you know, against especially an I-5, another I-5 out there, she does not like that. Um, but then on the right here with our Rebel player, uh, we have Han Solo with Trickshot, Fiston, R2-D2, and Kanan Jar's crew. So a little bit of a regen and double tapping reaching in there. But then his co-pilot, or, you know, uh, co-ship is Leia, the new Leia Falcon ship with no upgrades. And uh, kind of a, you know, this is a really interesting team up here, squad, because Leia can support uh, also the K-turn or a sloop maneuver by uh, Han if need be for a focus at least to even trigger Biston still. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see this, uh, this duo uh, in two Falcons, this, this couples versus uh, I don't know, maybe an un undisclosed couple on the left <laughs> for the scum. Uh, Cause uh, Boba and Gurry have gone along well together for such a long time. Yeah, absolutely. Super excited to see how this matchup shakes out. And I want to remind everybody, you can go ahead and play Choose Your Champion now. If you want to know how to play, you can check your balance by typing exclamation point points, and one of our mods can help you out uh, if you don't know how to wager those. It's just a fun little side game that we play here on Gold Squadron on stream. And thank you to all of you who play. And I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds today are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code DATHAMIR2020 for... 20% off your entire order. Doesn't matter where it's going. United States, Europe, Australia, you'll get that 20% off. And uh, yeah, just be ready to head to those tables looking in style with that acrylic shiny stuff. I love it. So um, here's my question to you, Duke. Looking at this matchup, you know, we got two two ship lists here um both that rely on on the fact that they're high initiative and they got some shenanigans up their sleeve who do you think has the advantage in this matchup uh actually uh, i'm gonna go with the rebels again here uh you rebel time. scum Just, i always <laughs> i'm always gonna choose my rebel uh my, boba boba's ability is not gonna be that important this game uh it's gonna really come down to Gurry, I think, really be doing the initial pushing of damage here uh, to really affect the outcome. So, you know, if Gurry can use outmaneuver to its, her advantage, and it, it'll be, you know, definitely easier to trigger, uh, especially with these bow tie turrets. Uh, excuse me. And, you know, being able to push that additional, you know, no defense mod for them will be big. And, you know, forcing, you know, Boba to kind of. You know, he wants to be in the way, but again, he doesn't get all of his rerolls like he normally does when you see mm -hmm. in his typical matchup. So I am concerned for that on that end. Uh, but it's going to take some expert flying from both players here to push that damage through. And if Gurry is in a bad spot, even at range one out of front arc, uh, we could still see Gurry take some solid damage with Han being able to reroll multiple times and double even shoot again with Biston. So... Uh, yep. That's that's my hot take on that one. Hot takes, and, and there we have the uh, the the Star Wars lovers, besando there on the side of the side of the board. Get to playing, you two. Let's go. Yeah. Um, 
We, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how this is going to shake out. I know that Mark is the first player, and generally Guri likes to move last as well as Boba Fett. But still, there's there's a lot of tools out there in both in uh, in that scum list that could make it good. And um, you know, I know that Boba Fett isn't getting you know three, four re rolls um, in in certain situations, but uh, one sometimes can be enough. And here's here's one of the things about both of these uh both these players i have a feeling that this is going to be a little bit different than some of the matches we've had today so far both these players are going to wait i think a little bit for the other to kind of make the move where where is the moment where the player says you know what i think i have an opening here and goes for it. and i think once we hit that uh we'll we'll begin the snowball in one direction or the other Right, you know, that, that is a very good point, especially since I the setup now with Han and Leia chasing Han, uh, you know, going around these rocks, doing what these gunships do. They want to circle and keep not have to ever rotate. So, uh, you know, if there's a turn where uh, Mark can force a rotate, that's for either either of these players, that's important. Uh, you know, that definitely cuts down on, on that offensive capability for them. But, you know, Han, Han's going to try and hug these rocks and Leia's just, you know, with the way it's going, it's just going to kind of follow him all the way. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, we'll probably not see much combat until they're actually probably in the opposite corner here. That's kind of my guess down by the left side of the board edge. I agree. And now for any newer players who are watching, what you're seeing here, we call a lot of times jockeying for position. The players are trying to feel each other out, see what the tendencies of each other are, because they do have two ship lists is really common with this type of list, where you you don't aggressively go in there because you do have a limited amount of resources when you have less ships. Um, and both these players playing that same game, that means that this opening is going to be a little bit slower than usual. They're going to have to pick their spots, see where they can try to get a shot. Because right now, essentially what's happening is we're flipping the deployment zone, right? Right now we're essentially corner-to-corner -corner deployment. And um, and, and I, I'm expecting Boba Fett to just keep it nice and casual, probably a one forward. And, uh, and maybe boost to straighten them out a little bit. But uh, Han is going to be probably the one that dictates when we start to actually get engagement because he is the last ship moving on the board. Right. And I think I as I think the right call, it looks like uh, Mark is trying to go for Leia. If, if anyone he's going to try and shoot at. I know Han is definitely worth a lot more points and you want to you know, put a lot of damage into Han. But Leia is going to e be e easier to do a decent chunk of damage to. And mm -hmm. that since they're that same initiative, if you can do a lot of quick damage early on, um, you know, that can be that can be important because there could be the time where Han or Leia might be killing one of them on the return fire, but at least that they can have taken Leia out at the same time. And if it's Gurry, if it's interestingly enough, like a Gurry versus Han final matchup, um, I think maybe I put my money into just Gurry just because I think Gurry can be even more defensive out there than Han. And Han, Han's going to be tricky, but Han's, Han's, you know, Han is a one agility ship still. Yeah, absolutely. So the other thing I wanted to mention here um, was the fact that this Dathomir event is the second of five qualifying events for our Coruscant Galactic Championship Finals. And if you want to participate in that, we got three more coming. Not next weekend, but the following is Concord Dawn. That is for anybody who watches these videos in the future. Pulling up my, my calendar right now. Uh, that is September 19th and 20, and it's based in the Sydney time zone. So make sure to double check uh, with a time zone um, converter to make sure that you can actually participate in that one if you're thinking about it um, and then we have October 3rd and 4th we have crate which revolves around the New York time zone and then Ryloth we're back in Europe with uh, a Warsaw uh, event but basically it runs almost the same as this event except 
one hour um, one hour slid over. So just go ahead, check those out, goldsquadronpodcast.com, and uh, you'll find the link there to the Galaxies events. Thank you to everybody who has participated. I will tell you right now, if you're if you're trying to snipe yourself a Coruscant invite, the uh, Concord Don has the lowest right now number of tickets sold and players registered. So if you're looking to sneak in there, that might that might be your chance. You know, additionally, it's, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go. No, you go ahead. Say, adi- you go additionally, ahead. Uh, additionally, if you wanted to take a look at the lists that are being used for our uh, our event today, you can type exclamation point lists in the chat. And if you're watching in the future, you should be able to look those up on List Fortress once the uh, the event is over. Yeah, all I was gonna say is just that you know we're. I don't think we're still going to see any real combat for another round. Um, you know, Han coming in here, you know, good positioning for Han in terms of being near his asteroids, going to stay close to those rocks or debris clouds uh, to trigger his ability. But I, you know, I'm guaranteeing we're, we're probably just going to see a one hard from Boba, follow up with a boost, and then a barrel roll away for Gurry, and then maybe you know just a slight turn in, but not much action. So we're still seeing this dance happen. Um, uh, but understandably, again, these, well, like you said, this is limited resources. This is limited ships, you know, and he definitely doesn't want to lose Gurry early on. Mark doesn't want to lose Gurry too early there. Oh, the no. town rule is a good call. Yep. The Boba getting in the corner. Just that's, that is a reactive position. That is Mark saying, you know what? Let's see where these, uh, these Falcons end up and I'll decide which way I want to one bank next turn. And determine the rest of my positioning for a while. Calaron right, Six, thank very... you so much for gifting some subs to the channel. Thank you so much. Getting us to 50 subs. We've definitely hit that first sub goal. So thank you so much. Going to be giving away a Galactic Championship t-shirt here during uh, our break in between rounds. Yeah, that's why this is this Gurry positioning is interesting because you know again it, it, leaving all these options open here uh, for Gurry to how to engage, especially with that advanced sensors. We're we're looking at probably my guess another two two to three rounds before I we even see a single shot here. Uh, but the players the player pace is really great. I oh, yeah. haven't been tracking the number of rounds right now, but uh, it's amazing. Um, you know, we're not even 15 minutes into the match yet, and we've, they probably have played six rounds. Um, you know, this is you know, so that's it's it's amazing how qu- quick both of them are going too. Even while very thoughtfully taking out, uh, you know, or thoughtfully thinking out each maneuver. Yeah, got to be uh, you, you got to be calculated. Like I said, limited resources in. Uh, in these matchups and right here I, I see a possible opportunity han is gonna have to one bank to the left to avoid the debris next turn guri might be able maybe depending on what uh what lukash does uh, with leia might be able to just clip leia next turn and uh, and get a shot i'm i'm curious to see if lukash is willing to take that risk um but we'll we'll see here in a minute well he does have kane so kanan can trigger and remove that stress. Oh, true. Even if it, never, never yeah, mind. <laughs> yeah. So Han, Han is just going to be in the, you know, just can kind of do whatever he wants. That's why that combo, uh, we saw that really early on in 2.0, right? With um, Nathan flying Han, uh-huh. a Han brain Han. But, uh, you know, the Kanan, the Kanan interaction with Han is very strong. The interaction is strong. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, or or we could see Han even be sneaky with a uh, a sloop uh, mm-hmm. to the left, head into that back corner, and then start come start the reverse train. So, you know, have Leia lead, and then Han just kind of keeps slowly bringing around. See, mm-hmm. he, he would prefer if he stays within those clouds at all, you know, triggering trick shot and also in helping his uh, defense tech all of a sudden becoming a two agility ship. You, you're okay 
a trick shot, you're perfectly okay giving your opponent an additional die as long as you get that additional die because the the you know the stats are in your favor with attack dice. One additional attack dice is way more important than having one additional defense dice. Yeah, agreed. All right. Woof, 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 woof is correct. Um, here, here we go. <laughs> is that my dog coming in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. This is it, this is real life, guys. This is real life. It's yeah. fine. Three bank. And Han probably taking a focus here, or are we going to get aggressive and take a lock? You can see he's kind of waffling. Takes a focus. All right. You, you take that focus, um, you know, it, as much as you want to set up that, oh, and didn't even hit that. That's that's some, it's like a glove flying right there <laughs> uh, with Han. So it doesn't even have to trigger Kanan. All right, and we're going to have shots here. Let's go ahead and get that dice box live. And forgets to roll... I was getting a little overzealous. There we go. All right. So one. Haunting it. And two. Here we go on the defense. We'll have to spend a mod in order to do it. And it's fine. Use yep. the force. And that means Boba Fett still has the focus. Here's the attack back. Uh, this is Biston. This is Han shooting with Biston oh, now. Oh, Biston. Nice. And this is going into Guri because he has to change up his target. So Yes. Ah, an early damage into Guri, too. Yep. Sorry about that. Missed the Biston trigger there. Can you go ahead and read that ability just uh, for, for those of us who forget yep. what that furry little monkey does? <laughs> uh, this little guy, he goes, after you perform a primary attack, if you are focused, you may perform a bonus attack against a ship that you've not already attacked this round. So in this two-ship matchup, Han is getting, you know, can be firing up both each round, but it forces him not to be able to spend that focus. Mm-hmm. One of each right now. It's going to leave it at one crit and is fine. Guri not able to do any damage there. <laughs> And Boba Fett trying to get a shot here. That's two. Spend the focus for three. We're going to be getting at least one here. Ooh. Spends a focus. Han, takes one shield. Han's, yeah, Han's happy about that for sure. So that's uh, Lucas you're not having to spend that mod at all during that entire time for attack. It's, it's big. All right. So uh, I, I, it, now, now we're really going to have to see Leia for Lucas to to really start taking the big lead here. We're going to have to start seeing uh, Leia engage, um, and mm -hmm. that will, you know, Han wants to go slow right now. You know, he 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 wants to stay close to that rock, but Boba's probably going to come in pretty fast enough to kind of shut down and block him a little bit uh, to try and deny him his focus act or even target lock action yep and it's important to note that uh kanan also can be used on other friendly ships so that debris um that's on that top right corner doesn't necessarily have to hinder uh, leia in any way she could also hard turn onto it if she clips it not a huge deal because han could just go ahead and use that kanan trigger to relieve the stress on the white maneuver and then that would mean that leia then gets an action uh, and it's it just Kanan. Kanan is such a strong card for the rebels. Uh, mm -hmm. No matter you know if you can fit that in, you you got your your o options out there for not just your aces but all your ships, uh, just viable. And now your opponent has to think two or three other maneuvers that you normally wouldn't suspect. Yes, implementing more decision fatigue. Fatigue, decision making fatigue on your opponent good strategy <laughs> just make sure that you know what you're doing because <laughs> it, it, <works> <laughs> it works both ways all right going forward 
two straight. Boba Fett waiting to receive Han in his open arms. I think he's debating whether to boost uh -huh. uh, or or just take a focus. Personally, I'm leaning towards just take the focus. I don't think you'll actually bump Boba. Or, uh, yeah, see, I think this will actually allow Han. It's, it's, it's a tough call. It, this is not an easy decision right here. I think this will allow Han to kind of escape out a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. But he still gets to shoot and will get his reroll and has Maul. So it's not, you know, this that's typically Boba. The first thought is, well, I should just boost here. So, um, you know, stick to your strengths yep. for sure. I really, I really like the position of Boba Fett right there. You are going to be able to trade. You are going to be taking shots from Han, but at least you are getting shots. The other position, there was a possibility, depending on the angle that Han could have gotten out. I don't know if there's a spot here where Han gets out of uh, Boba's arc completely unless he bumps him. So Leia taking the three bank uh, to the right, landing right next to the debris. No problem. Taking the lock onto... Boba Fett, and there is the three bank from Han Solo, landing range one of both Guri and Boba Fett. Uh, Guri in no danger at the moment because the arc is left right. Will Han rotate or just leave it there? Guri might get an un, uh, uncontested shot here with a free focus from her ability. Can't forget about that. Yeah, it's, it's so strong and you know, great positioning by Mark there to get in that. And now I, I believe outmaneuver won't trigger because she is in the front arc, but still better than uh, taking any shot anyways. All right, here we go. Han Solo range one into Boba Fett. And not, not going to be able to use Han at all just because uh, away from that. Uh, rock too far away from the rocks right now. Yeah. Yep, taking hit crit. In Boba's ability. And only ending up taking one shield there. And I believe outmaneuver is actually going to trigger because um, Guri is not in the firing arc it's because the Falcon does not have a front fire arc, it only has a turret. Right, but it is in the front arc, I believe. So it won't, it shouldn't. Well, I guess uh, it looks like uh, this is Leia, I believe, shooting. Right? Oh no, this is in the Han. This is Guri. Okay. Yep, it's just two shields. Yeah. So the the attack has to be a primary front arc attack, uh, but just defenders firing arc is what you need to worry about for out maneuver. So it does work. All right, okay. and Boba Fett getting three hits and a crit. Boba, uh, Han, rolling and evade, but that's going to be hit, hit, crit into Han. What's the crit? What's in the juicy center of a falcon? He never took a defense. <laughs> no. It is a loose stabilizer. Nick, can you place the damage deck in the right spot for them, please? That, that's, uh, that's a tough crit for Han, actually. You know, it, this ship likes to turn, you know, yep. so it, it, the fact that he's probably going to take an extra damage here is um, is critical. So. All now right. this is Leia's shot. Yeah. Leia, three dice, hit crit. And rolls the focus. Are we going to spend the locker? We have she has the force, right? Yep, force for three, so that's uh, three hits. Got two evades. Only wow. takes a crit, which is a shield only onto Boba Fett. Right now, Scum in the lead. Very close. I know that we don't have a score, but very close to giving half points on Boba Fett. The loose stabilizer on Han, not feeling great there. Uh, for anybody who doesn't remember what that crit says, it says after you execute a non-straight maneuver, suffer one damage, and then repair this card. Just like uh, Duke said, Han likes to do turns, and most likely the, the move on um, loose Lukash's mind was probably something like a one bank or a two hard to uh, keep that arc on the Han, excuse me, on the Boba Fett. But, uh, you know, he might just end up doing it to take the damage anyway to keep the arc. I mean, because you don't want to start going towards the board edge just for no reason. 
Right, and, and I and the nice thing is he had R two D two, and this mm -hmm. is a great time to trigger R two D two because it's already your only damage card, and you just get a free shield without any punishment, anyways. So yep. he can he can afford the two hard now since he'll just go back to the health that he was at and get and, rid of the and crit. Doesn't, and doesn't get rid of and doesn't uh, give up half points, right. which is probably right. which is the most important thing there. Yeah, so I mean now we got we got Leia coming in and we got, you know, we'll probably see, you know, Han continue attacking, but uh I Boba Fett will probably you know, he could he has a couple options here. Uh he could turn in hard towards Leia and kind of shut down Leia's lane or and, and still maintain arc on Han. Uh or he could actually turn away and try and circle back around uh, and into Han if need be. Agreed. And agreed. Yeah, uh, Guri. Guri's the interesting one still. Um, you know, she wants to maintain uh, her uh, her her range one in, with Han. So we'll probably see like an advanced sensors. You know, this is almost like a Phantom style right now. Mm -hmm. Advanced sensors barrel to the left like a one bank and maybe even shut down the two hard for Han. So maybe do we see, you know, this could, this is, this is all coming down again to, you know, Guri, is Guri going to be in the way or is Guri, you know, and to stop Han or is Guri going to miss and Han gets to do some good damage into Guri. And here we go. Boba Fett using uh, taking a hard one. Focus. Guri four straight. Action. So I think he... that that's an interesting call there. Uh, you know, again, just to not what she what Guri's doing there is getting towards Leia, but also not giving up a really good shot into Han. Agreed. Agreed right now. Just making sure. I think for, for Mark, it was more, I'm going to continue going straight is the easiest. The path of least resistance, and you know you're going to get a shot with Leia coming uh, coming around the corner. Yeah. And right now we're waiting for Mark to decide on his action, I believe. Whether he's going to calculate or boost. Uh, that boost was huge. Look at that great block with Gurry. And <laughs> he's just throwing the focus on there so he doesn't forget. Yep. Han takes the hard turn. That triggers loose stabilizer. Will suffer the damage from the shield and flip loose stabilizer. Yeah, and and because of uh uh because of R2 D2, he'll recover that shield and maybe end up just kind of repeat rinse and repeat this for a little while with loose yep. stabilizer and the shield. This is the Biston shot now. I'm getting some pretty good shots with Biston. And right now, waiting for that defense. Yeah, now this is in the... The Biston shot is in the Boba. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So, taking a crit. That's another shield on Boba Fett, little by little. Again, remember this Biston uh, triggering there to get two shots, one into each. Four dice coming in from Boba Fett. What he was hoping to see after he had to spend that focus. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, debating whether to spend the force for either defense or uh, this attack now. That is a big shot coming in from uh, Leia. Yeah, and it's a, it's a healthy Leia too, so I already guaranteed one damage. Yep, he's leaving it at two. And here is Leia's shot. Two hits only. Great work with that, again, that Gurry block, preventing that additional rerolls. Two blanks. That feels bad. 
At least he recovered and got a, a one evade, but now Boba shields are down. And let's see if we see the uh, R2-D2 regen here. He should trigger it. Might be debating. And... Oh, yeah, he's, he's, by, he's by the asteroid right now, so there's very low risk of doing that. Uh, he does have to roll the dice to see whether or not... He has to uh, roll, yeah, never mind. Uh, Getting in the dice tray, so... There you go. Same see. result. We're good. I find for, it a, a, a very enjoyable that Han does technically trigger for the R two D two reroll. <laughs> so, you know, you you, you kind of like that like little mischief. And now, I mean, now Han's dial is completely open, and yep. you know, sitting good health and can continue the pursuit on both of these ships. Um, Leia, uh, do you think? You know, personally, I'm, I I don't know if it makes sense to keep using Guri as a blocker into Leia at this point. Uh, do you think you completely disengage with Guri a little bit here uh, and let Boba Fett try and do some good work still? Yeah, I, or do you... Yeah. So he, here's my thought. So I think that Guri does need to turn around somehow. You could do one of the sloops if you want, or if you want, you can just kind of go fast and, and make a turn. This could be a bit of a recovery moment for... Um, for Mark, just kind of bring him around because I really think that the strength of this list, when you have two ships versus two ships, if you want moments where you have two on ones, right? You want, you want two on ones and you mm. might end up over. If you, if you did a sloop, I think actually that might be over pursuing cause you're leaving Guri out there without any modifiers. Uh, even though Boba Fett has a shot and, and Boba needs the backup of Guri's gun out there as at least a threat. Right. I, I mean, Guri can use advanced sensors to get at least a calculate or a target lock. Um, but, you know, it, it is since it's not a focus for Guri that is you know, really weakens her gun a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. So she could still do that sloop, but it's not, it, like you said, it's not as much of a threat for the, with that gun at that strength with a calculate only. And, and, and I guess my, my thought is I don't know how, you know, you're basically forced to do the too hard three hard with leia she mm -hmm. kind of really doesn't want to be there right now because she know it, it just you know kind of puts her in a pickle in terms of how much damage so taking the target lock by the way aggressive and there you go so having two guns on the leia Got a couple of good mornings in the chat. Good morning to people in America waking up to round three action here from Dathomir. Super excited to be here. And that is a target lock for Boba Fett. It's a very Boost. aggressive call there. Ooh. That is that is a, a defensive boost saying, I need to get out of here. Han taking the one bank that might set up the trick shot going against Boba Fett if it's in range. Debating doing the boost, it would seem. And goes for the boost forward. Now, range is still going to be the question there. I think he might just have, oh, just a bit outside. Just out. <laughs> just outside. Yeah, that, that hurts not being able to get that second shot this round into Boba Fett. And, you know, it would have been a great damage, you know, good shot, at least, even with putting Boba behind that debris cloud to get that additional defense die. But, again, it's trick shot, Han. Yep. And oh, definitely going to be spending that target lock there. I think it's worth it at this point. You don't know how much longer Boba's going to be out there. And only one hit. Leia likes this. Spend the force, no damage. A couple of people suggesting that Lukash should have bank boosted with Han. You got to remember that turret is left right. If he would have bank boosted, he probably wouldn't have had a shot. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, it, it, it's a tough call. Again, this mm -hmm. this position though is also a good long term position. He has a little more few options. He doesn't have to turn in towards Boba or Guri with Han now. Yep. So uh, I think that was a long play thought. Agreed. Oh, spending the lock from 
Oh, this is Gurry's lock. Oh, hit, hit, crit from downtown Gurry. Two dice. Leia is going to be taking all of it after having spent the force early. And that is, I believe, shields almost down. One, no, no shields left anymore on Leia. Leia taking the opportunity to take a shot here. You are one away from half, I believe, on Boba Fett. What's the total on that one? Uh, yes, one one away. Yep, this one is a away. Just a ten health ship, so needs one more in the Boba Fett. I believe Boba has the four, so it'd be three versus three with that range three shot, or a three versus four uh, with oh going. Yep, going into Boba. That's that so. Boba Fett. Looking for the blank out. Not quite. The force is strong with this one. You guys like that? Little quote, little uh, quote there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's the canon that's coming up, right? With uh, Mandalorian season two, we're gonna see uh, the child stay as a uh, as a Mandalorian and uh, and just becomes a force wielding bounty hunter. That's right. That's how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's how I'm seeing it, which uh, I'm excited for. <laughs> I think Alrighty. we're again in this uh, fun position here for uh, Han. So Han has a few options. Uh, he probably will still end up being stressed. Well, he does a blue maneuver, clears one, and does Kane, and he could end up with no stress after that, I believe, if I'm reading that correctly. Even if he goes over that debris cloud, is what I'm thinking. And still can't maintain gun on Boba. Um, you know, Boba might not want to actually engage here. Oddly enough, I think you know he could, we could see a little more dancing uh, by these two ships because Boba is hurting a little bit and mm -hmm. doesn't want to take uh, a Leia and a Han, and possibly a you know Leia Han and Biston shot too. So I know he can't get, take all three, but he doesn't want to allow Han to shoot twice uh, next round. Yeah, this is... Han has has the entire dial open essentially right now. So, just debating how aggressive he wants to be. We are a little over halfway through the game. Taking a look at what our audience thought going into it, the F Double Falcons have a sixty six percent favorite versus the Scum, who only took thirty three percent of the opinionated poll. And right now, Boba Fett turning out, taking the focus, using that back arc to his best advantage. Boba in the corner, though, could be problematic. Um, we'll see how Mark plans on solving that. You see Gurry going one straight, relieved stress, taking the calculate, waiting for the Falcons to come to them. Yeah, and uh, the chat got me, corrected me. It was a good catch there. They, uh, uh, Kanan only can trigger on a white maneuver, so that's why yeah. he can't do a double clear. So, uh, th thank you for that. I forgot about that. Oh, good call with the too hard fitting. Beautiful. Uh, Leia. We'll have a shot into Gurry from this position. Would not be able to shoot Boba Fett. Yeah, I I take the target lock at this point and try and just try and put put a threat into Gurry. Yeah, I mean, she only has a single calculate, right? Like, th this is your best chance right. to get damage. I'm going to be taking a focus. Han, one straight. No damage. Nothing from the debris cloud and saving Kanan. Uh, so since it was just blue, which allows him, you know, again, just kind of it, it, it was a good call if, in just in case if uh, Boba did turn in the other way. And spends a focus for three, getting aggressive going into Leia. Could get half points here with a bad roll. It is range three through a rock. Has a focus for defense if needed. No, oh, just natty out, baby. Just do Ooh. that. Just do that. Ooh. My Leia. princess. My princess. My general. Do it.
Two hits coming in from Gurry. There you go. Spends a force. No damage on Leia this turn. And the fact that she can probably... She's good chance she can push in an additional uh, damage into in uh, Gurry here. Two hits. It's going to be three on uh, the four dice, excuse me. Uh, only one evade, waiting for the last one. Reroll and taking wow. a crit under, uh, um, not quite in that shields because there was a shield upgrade in there. Well, not shield upgrade, an additional shield because of Virago. Um, a card that you very rarely see out there, but it uh, it's out there right now. I will tell you, quick question, Duke. Have you actually seen somebody use that uh, that second part of the ability where you get the boost in the end phase? I haven't. I have not seen that used. I have seen it only with Dallin Oberwis. Is it okay to be cheat just to be cheeky, but never in a serious competitive game uh, with, <laughs> out there. Never. It, it is a. We were talking about this with the other guys uh, right before you. Uh, we, this match started. Um, it is a cheap shield upgrade. That's the best yep. part about it. It's you know, you're you're saving a point, uh, and you know there's a couple local guys that I know they'll they'll go super thick gurry and they'll throw another shield upgrade on her, um, effectively making her uh, a T65 or, you know, or a T70 <laughs> with that. And it's it's really funny, uh, but you know they, if they lose with that if they lose that gurry they're they're really upset. <laughs> Nice. Any aggressor slow storms at Dathomir? Yeah, you know we're just waiting. You know, I I would love to see it on the stream, but you know it's not it's not my call. It's producer Nick. If uh, producer Nick seems you know that's part of his job today, he's making those calls. So uh, you know, get get an at Nick Sperry in the chat and see if you can convince him. <laughs> <laughs> He was he was talking about a few of these. He was having a fun time trying to figure out which one to get out there, and it's hard well, to pass on them. They that's not my Twitch account, so this is tagging <laughs> nothing. Oh, oh, all right, sorry, it's a three one two squadron. My bad. No, they, they, you guys, to go ahead and tag at Nick Sperry. I'll, I'll be sure to. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe you could set it up, Dion. You can start uh, setting up. Uh, uh, bets on what he's going to pick for the day. Ooh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So All right. we're waiting for these players to get going. And uh, by the way, in our in our break when we were waiting for players to get set up, uh, we heard a parody of "We'll Be Back" from the musical Hamilton, sung by Paul Olson of Radio TCX. Thank you for that. It's fun, fun little thing here. Uh, we got a, we actually got another one of those parodies coming up uh, from uh, from the Little Mermaid. This is a this is an, an oldie but goodie, and we'll play it in our next transition. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, we're talking about casual me. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll... that's a good one. That is an old one. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be old G Gold Squadron for that one. I think that is that was like within the first year of us. I think. Let's see, let's I think see, that's me... right. That sounds right. When when was this posted? A while ago. Got to, can't even find it right now. Twenty eighteen, January of twenty eighteen. Wow. Feels so long ago. Mm-hmm. All right. Han and Leia converging again. Crisscrossing those arcs. Lots of threat. Can we get Yoda seagulls? No, we cannot because that is copywritten and uh, we don't want to get in trouble. No Yoda <laughs> seagulls. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so this is Han into Gurry here. Here uh, we go. Hit crit. Ooh. Spend for hit, hit, crit. I uh, got the three that he <laughs> needed. That is Gurry. Gurry at her finest some t uh, right there. Now, an interesting call here. Uh, he did not spend contraband with Boba Fett, Mark. He mm -hmm. kept it and not decided to use this, which was, a, I think, a, a great call by him. 
is he staying range three from Leia right now? Yep. And gets to spend, keep his force for defense. Ooh. Oh, just grow no. two evades, baby. <laughs> All right, this is going to be an obstructed shot if uh, going into Leia here. Yeah, I think you you got to you got to put that damage in the Leia. Is it she'll it'll be outmaneuver range to obstruct it, so she'll uh no no uh, outmaneuver. Get... No outmaneuver because the back arc is on. Oh, the back arc, sorry. Mike. Mhm. Mm Hit crit. And ooh, blank out there. Ooh. And what's the card? What's in the box? It was a fuel leak on Leia. Fuel leak says that after you suffer a crit damage, you suffer an additional damage. And right now, uh, yeah, it looks like the, the, okay. just, the wrong arc was spawned there. So going towards yep. the back, this is unobstructed. Range two back. And one dice out the box. We'll get the reroll there. Does she have the force available? She does. Spends it for two hits. Oh, this is unmodified Gurry defense. <laughs> Got it, Ooh. baby. Easy peasy. <laughs> they keep grabbing those cards. I got to lock them down. <laughs> yeah. Nick, Nick, see if you can lock it down. <laughs> Thank you, Leia's, Leia's kind of going to be trailing away right now, which I don't think really Lucas really wanted to see all that much. Um, you know, it, it will start pulling her too far away from the fight, uh, especially since she had to rotate if he decides not to rotate. Um, you know, we could still see it too hard, but my guess is he's going to continue moving uh, towards the bottom of the board edge here. Uh, and Han... We'll just do a nice little probably one straight and kind of maintain that fire on Guri. Um, or we could or or we could see in a very aggressive pawn and head towards right towards Boba and try and do a lot of damage into Boba. But I mean you're you're talking a four four hall left Guri kind of be in the way and it's being a menace right now to Leia for sure. Absolutely. I do want to remind everybody that after this round, we have um, a break that's going to be happening. It is scheduled, so just to be aware of that. We'll give you the, the, the start time of the next round after this one, just depending on how this ends up shaking out. But just so you are, you are aware, we'll have a little bit of a opportunity for those of us in America to grab a little little breakfast nom nom. Those of you uh, around other parts of the world, maybe grab lunch or dinner or take a nap. You know, whatever feels good. Take a walk, pet your dog, hug your family. And uh, we'll get right back to it with round four, five, and six. In round four, five, and six, we're going to be joined by the um, uh, the Firestorm Squadron crew, which would be awesome. Great, and, great group uh, of players there. So oh, yeah. that's going to be a lot of good commentary, a lot of good interactions, and um, I'm excited for that. But I will probably be asleep because I need to sleep after this. <laughs> Reb Brown in the chat asking, will we see any aggressors on the table? Hey. Listen, three one. You need to at three one two squadron and ask nicely, okay? You know, I th I think that's D asking if he can sleep. No, uh, D, you're not this. allowed to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! Oh, All right, coming in there, yeah. Yeah, Boba Fett three bank. That means it holds on to the stress, but he triggered contraband, which gives the focus, possibly catching Lukash off guard. Here is Gurry one banking, boosting to get a little bit closer. And linking it uh, into that calculate. Yep, anticipating having something at range one, hopefully getting a focus there on Gurry. Leia being able to move away too straight has the arc still on and taking the target lock that is an aggressive move probably taking it on to Guri I would guess unless you know probably thinking about where Han's got to go 
and uh, you want to definitely make sure you are maximizing your shots into whatever you're going to. And we're, we're most likely going to see a double shot Han with Piston again. So Han will focus and, you know, be putting in pretty much guaranteed damage into someone. But I think Leia going into Guri here is the correct choice just because that will help guarantee that death. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so bumping, no Biston, no focus. Does the does Han have arc on Guri? Yes. We'll be able to double up shots there. You take both into Guri, for sure. I, I wonder what he was thinking that you know, I, I think that it was uh, it's a tough call. He really wanted to maintain that shot in the Boba, so maybe he was Got thinking that a block would be coming from Guri if Guri went a little more aggressive. So we end up with four hits. And two of them are going through. On to Guri. So we got half points. Only two left. And Leia could finish it off. Yeah, that, that, that lock action. Great call. Um, there to kind of make sure to really guarantee taking out Guri this round. It, it, you know, I think there's a good chance. There's still, still, she's still fully modded right now with the, the calculate and focus, but uh, you know, this this is good damage that could go through here with Leia. Alright, going on to Leia. Here we go. Only one there after spending the force. Leia unable to get an evade. No, sorry, this is into Han. Seeing the reroll there. So one damage. That's that R2D2 shield. Not getting any progress, but um, we might get some progress here with Guri at range one. Hit, hit, crit. You know, Ooh. Han is at least taking hit, crit. Gets the squiggle. We are. We're adding cards onto Han now. We're probably getting half points. And what's in the box? That's a direct hit. Takes an additional damage. That's wow. 97 points right now on the board for Mark, 44 for Lukash, and right here on this shot from, uh, shouldn't it be one more dice? Am I missing something? Oh, it's Leia, sorry. Two hits. Yeah, this is, this is Leia, so. Yep, I was looking There's at Han's positioning. There's a chance here to get that additional There is damage. a chance that Guri can die, but, you know, uh, having to still all of her mods, yeah. Taking nothing. I don't think he did. He spend that lock, or did he decide to keep the lock with Leia? I guess he kept that lock with Leia. Mm. I thought I saw the reroll. That might have been out of box. I know one die popped out of box, but I could be wrong. No, he spent it. He spent it on the okay. double f double focuses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's why you know, Leia's, Leia's got to continue to try and track down and hunt Guri right now. Um, you know, Guri out there is uh, is really tough for Han. Like, he, he could, you know, Han could too hard here uh, to the right and, can you know, try and take out Guri initi with an initiative kill, which would be important. Uh, but, you know, he's getting away from those rocks also, and Han is hurting, so... Doesn't look like he has decided. He's not sure if he should decide to trigger R two D two yet, or not. Yeah, you got a lot of cards out there, <laughs> but you have the you have the chance of of uh, re rolling it with the uh, the debris right next to it. So, could just be a missed opportunity if he's not thinking about it because it is a may. He doesn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the worst feeling in the world is you 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 end up pulling that direct hit again as your exposed card. <laughs> Mm-hmm, because you know what's in there, and uh, <laughs> it don't, doesn't feel very good. Uh -oh. uh, I saw a question with a three sloop. I think they're thinking for Leia fit. I think that would be... Yeah, I think he's got it. Yeah, it's close. It's. I'm trying to remember what the rule is. If you're, like, within range one, you can't, or you can, but like, it's a weird angle. I think it should be okay. I, I, I love that position for Boba. Mm -hmm. Really trying to block Han there. So it takes the one bank. Conservative move. Has an arc still. Probably taking a target lock again. 
has both Guri and... And yeah, taking it on to Guri. I think that's the right choice. Oh, man, but Leia's arc is front back right now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's front back. No, and I don't think I he has a don't... shot. It's yeah. super close. But getting getting really low, I don't think he's got it. I don't. I think it's just out. Uh, and now this will be a, probably a focus for Han, and he can, you know, Biston here. Ooh! Goes to the right side. Going to take a boost, getting a little extra space. That's going to be a range one shot into the side of Boba Fett without any any uh, shots going back into Han. It's big, but it, it, he only has four. He has force to modify, so there's still. There it is. Oh. There it is. Three oh. hits and a crit. The Boba Fett not liking this. Does have a reroll. He's going to be taking at least two. It's three. Oh. Hit, hit, crit into Boba. That's the half of Boba. That brings Lukash really close here. And what was, oh, was that? A structural damage? Structural, structural damage. damage. Uh, we are tied I, 97 to 97 right now. This is why you love. This is why Nick picked a great get, matchup. We uh, two ships. <laughs> <laughs> wow, lots of back and forth here. This is anybody's game. I know that the players can feel the tension, but you know what? That's my favorite part of X-wing, guys. The tension. It's it's amazing. All right, here part we go. You're just starting to sweat a little bit. You're thinking mm -hmm. I'm up or I'm down. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> And here's hit crit going into Leia. Boba spending the lock. And will he spend the force? He does have a shot coming back from Leia. Mm -hmm. mm, debate, debate, debate. He's going to leave it. Leia's going to be taking a crit. Oh, and fuel leak will and trigger that's now. And fuel leak. Yep. Uh... And now... Oh, I guess he did decide to spend it, and he let him re-roll it. Hole breach, and that's a that's a that's a crit because of hole breach. Yep. Oh. Blinded pilot. Well, at least Leia's got some force. That brings her down to three two hole. Excuse me. Yeah, we're probably gonna see Leia disappear this round. Uh with this Gurry shot. Well, like, Gurry's unmodified, I believe. Oh, I no, there's she's... a calculate. There's a calculate a there. Calculate out there, yeah. And outmaneuver. Leia misses. So another 3v1. Yep. So the outmaneuver triggering there, taking away the obstructed die. Hit crit. And taking another critical damage. Leia hoping not to see another direct hit here. Yeah. It is a weapons failure. Oh, reducing the attack <laughs> by one. That doesn't feel good. Only two dice going into Boba Fett. And two, he only gets two because of structural, so that's right. Have a, a weird uh, trade-off here. And putting the crit token out just so he doesn't forget. And Bobo reroll, extra Got guarantee that safety. Mega All Silver, right, well, uh, uh, real quick here. It was uh, out maneuver and oh wait a second, I think no, you said was it range three the Guri shot or was it range two? It's range two obstructed. So yeah, that's range why two it obstructed. Was, it was, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Up one, down one. Yep. And then um, uh, something's triggering over there. Oh, uh, R two D two. Oh, so he R two D two this time. Mm hmm. Taking the risk. Rolling the die. Safe. Han. I, love, I, I love people throwing in the chat. Obviously, it was this, and then they're wrong. It's beautiful. Love you, Tron. <laughs> love you, Tron. 
So I, that's why I want hey, to ask the it, question. <laughs> hey, it's it's easy to get confused at times, especially some of the, these players are pretty fast players at times, and they're you know they're jumping mm -hmm. back and forth. Um, you know that down communication that can kind of happen be, being via online and not being able to you know throw the hands out in the middle of the board and be like, hold on, let's stop. What what, what just happened? Kind of a situation. You know, you don't really you have that, but you know, but. Again, it's it's also these guys. Uh, you know, I think they're doing a great job making sure they're on the same page. And I, most all of the players that we've had on stream today, and also uh, in the past, you know, it's a, you know that still happening, but it's a little trickier at times. Mm -hmm. I guess right. we're gonna now, see one of the, one of the things I'm worried about just a little bit, um, Han. While he took that risk, while he took that risk, and in, in this last turn it was great, right? He was able to get that four damage. Han is now going away from the fight where both Boba Fett and Guri can both converge on the Leia. And I, with 14 minutes left, Han needs to catch Boba Fett, really, is what you're looking for points-wise. Um uh, With 105 points. But it's going to be interesting. I think it's really going to come down to the wire. We're going to have one-on-one. -on -one. Right, uh, and Van Sensor's triggering here. But yeah, it, it is. It's going to be a uh, tough move. I mean, maybe we end up seeing a Biston double kill uh, <laughs> with, mm -hmm. with, uh, with Han. So he has that high initiative still that he can do the work out there. But I think Mark is, is you know, he's shown great positioning and great play that he's not going to let him to have up two shots anymore with Han. He can he can flank very well with either of his ships. All right, and there is a target lock from Boba Fett. Hard two. And um, right now we're going to see a the, boost here. Yeah, a boost or yeah, does the boost get? Yep, there it is. Boost to the outside, reduces the number of shots coming in, gives you a shot into Guri, and might get you, might get you uh, a, a trade. Guri's outside of range one. Guri's outside of range one, so no focus for Guri. Ooh, that's your chance. And Leia does have the force available as well. With that target lock from the last round. But only two dice. Oh, well, he has, of he, has, he, has bl he, has, he has blinded pilot and weapons failure, so. Yeah. That Han might have boosting to the Han. right. Takes a stress because of the boost. Yeah, I think this. Yep, that's going to be in. Who just? just, I, just oh my goodness! By the hair on my chinny chin chin. Here we go. Range three has the reroll if he wants to do. I mean, two hits is pretty good. You leave it right there. No, he, no, no, haunted yeah. there. No, he's going to. Oh, he do is. It. He got greedy. Uh, uh, he, but he, he already used the spent force. His force. Yeah, he got the force. Two hits. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a damage. Oh. Remember, only rolled two dice there on Boba Fett because of the structural damage. Boba Fett down to two. And here's Boba on Leia, trying to get that last health. But remember, these this is at initiative five. Leia's also a five. So even if Boba takes her out, she'll get a chance to retaliate. And that's going to be the end of Leia. How many cards? Three cards. Hold on to the first. There's no reason to spend it. Here we go. Range two from Leia. Uh, but actually, the but crit yeah, does could matter. The crit could matter. Yeah, we want to not see another weapons failure out there. Uh, structural damage, structural damage, panic pilot. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so you got the force going into Guri, range two. Yeah, nice, a nice three v three shot here. Yeah, um, and that's that's the wrong arc uh, that was just uh, turned on. This should be front back. There we go. All right, so yeah, this is a good chance one? we could. Uh, no, race two. Okay, uh, it's range, I, yeah, he's I saw that they grabbed three dice on accident. Oh, hit crit! There oh, we go. That's oh. what you're looking for. Remember, no modifiers here on Guri's side. Stats say that at least one of these are going through, but the dice say other things, and that's a crit hitting the hole. What is it? It is a fuel leak. Excuse me, not a fuel hole leak. Breach. A hole breach. Um, 
But a blank crit, essentially. One more damage kills Guri. But gets her one closer, making Han's job possibly easier with 10 minutes and change left on the clock. This is going to come down to, again, trying to get, you know, how how do you fly Guri in this situation? And also, you know, getting Han in, back into this fight. Uh, you know, Han was, it was lucky that Han was able to actually get another shot off. Mm -hmm. Still that round with that nice boost. Uh, but he's going to probably be forced to go fast and spend Kanan and then probably boost again. And he really wants to have some sort of mod other than his reroll out there, the capability. Uh, you know, we, we've seen it to be great effect, but there's still five health left on Han here with R2-D2 always uh, being pretty much out there. And so there's a good chance, though, that, you know, he might not be able to push enough damage through with not a lot of mods his way on attack. Mm hmm There is a 4K for Boba Fett. Takes a stress, ready to receive some Han Solo. Guri, one turn. I think what Mark might do here is maybe split off these two and make uh, kind of keep them close enough where you can always have shots on Han, but make Lukash choose. We'll see where Lukash puts his stuff, but this is this is the, the reason we play X-Wing, guys. This is uh, a <laughs> this is awesome. Down to the wire, 135.97. We got using uh, Kane and Jars uh, to clear that stress. Uh huh. Thinking about, <laughs> thinking the, about chat, the chat. Yeah, the chat wants the chat wants uh, uh P S double P S killing. <laughs> that would be amazing, at least uh, in the sense of, of a, a great moment of uh, Bistan crew just being Darte, Darte. All right, if you don't know what I'm referencing, uh, Australian X-wing players. They, 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 that's from them. <laughs> uh, you know, basically only, you know, he didn't, I don't think he took any, uh, he probably target locked and failed to check the range mm -hmm. on, but he didn't boost, which was, I think an actually a smart call again. He can kind of go fast and adapt his turn now with a full, with at least a force for attack. So, Good thinking to keep that dial open rather than being stressed this round. I, I you know, Dion, I, I'm not sure who I would mm -hmm. pick, but I, I think I would go Boba just because it's Boba Fett. Uh, are you thinking Boba? Uh, I, I think it's a uh, – you want to try to avoid taking as many shots as possible, so you see if you can dial in some kind of generic maneuvers and boosts into spots where you are only trading one-on-one. -on -one. And this is what I, I like this. I like this a lot. You're going to trade shots with Guri. You use Kanan to uh, make that uh, that three bank not matter as much. Oh, did he uh, get a little? Boba, he... wasn't, Boba wasn't done. Oh, man. That oh, that could have cost Lukash right there. Revealing early. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I guess Boba Fett did not do a reposition. <laughs> and the box. Get it in the box. There you go. All right. So he's setting up the piston shot. Yep. There it is. And has shots on both. Where is he going to go first? He's got trick shot onto Boba Fett. I think this, this is looks going to be Guri. onto Guri first. One. He's going to He's going to use Han's ability to do it again. Zero. Could spend the focus. Oh. And here is the trick shot into Boba Fett. He would spend the focus here. And uh, that's three hits. Boba Fett will have a total of four dice, I believe. Nope, minus one because of the structural damage. Only three. Yep, yep. It only has the force available. He's taking two. Boba Fett gone. Boba Fett uh, where? Uh, Not on this table. Wow, that was it was a risky call. Not trying to take out Guri for sure. I you know I prop and this switching over to I can take out going with that trick shot. So uh, great move, great call by Lucas. That was awesome. Uh, decision making there. It's an, it's not easy to make that call there. Uh, you know, Guri's going to trade some damp, put some damage in the Han, but uh, it's not going to be fast enough, I believe. And Han, Han, 
Ooh, he's going to be taking hit, hit, crit. Disabled power regulator, Han down to two. Boba Fett removed there at the end of initiative fives. There is the R2-D2 trigger to get the shield back. 135 to 149. This is probably the last turn, everybody. <laughs> Oh man, because we're gonna we're gonna trade some shots between both these players, and then it's uh, whoever ends up taking damage is probably the person who loses. Now, of course, Han has the advantage there, being able to shoot at initiative six. But if Han whiffs on an attack, Gurry's gonna have something juicy here in a minute. This has been a great game. This is an absolute blast to watch. You know, you know, again, players really deciding on how they want to do that engagement. I think Mark started off strong with the engagement and uh, early, uh, t unfortunately took a little bit of damage and followed up on that next round, doing a ton of solid damage into both Han and Leia pretty early on. But Luke is being persistent, maintaining shots and scaring uh, Boba and Guri at times away was the thing that kind of, I think, has swung this into his favor. And then additionally, just that Han is, Han's that I-6 out there. Uh, it is, it's been made a big difference in this game. Yep, absolutely agree. Uh, real quick, Nick, we actually, Han has two hole and one shield. Let's go ahead and get that fixed here when you have a second. Thank you, sir. All right, so yeah, Han has sorry, Han has a little more cushion than we thought, which is good. Guri going one straight. Maybe. Debating either advanced sensors here. He hasn't technically clicked it yet, mm -hmm. uh, so. Changed his dial? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. It's the first ship to move. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, right. Yep. All right. So one bank. And there we go. I think that's going to be our, our final position. Gurry should get a focus. Gurry looking for some natties. Taking a target lock with Han. Yeah, four dice here. Hot. Uh, Han reroll and a force. This could be it, no matter what. Ooh, uh, Ooh. I think you spend. Ooh. Ooh, spend the lock. Yep. Oh, three. Gurry looking Only for needs all one. paint. Got him. Got, Got him. him. Gurry is out of the. This was an amazing game. Absolutely amazing game. Thank you so much to the players. Very well played. That is the ball game. Thank you guys so much. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. Heck of a game. <laughs> Heck of a game by both players again. Yeah. Just enjoyable. <laughs> I have goosebumps right now. Yeah. Uh, that's how enjoyable <laughs> that one was. Awesome. Well, this round and all of our rounds were brought to you by Curlpaw Creatives. Let's get to it.